Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. On this week's episode of Creator Club, I am gonna to talk to you about how to get awesome, high quality audio for your YouTube videos. I personally believe that having really high quality audio can be the absolute secret to having really, really great YouTube videos on a budget. Of course, video quality is also important, but I think that having bad audio can be even more distracting than having bad video, and so if you really want to polish up your videos, then having some nice, crisp, clear audio can be one of the best ways to do that. It's also kind of a little bit intimidating at the beginning because it requires some external parts, and for beginners, it can be a little bit like, uh, I don't know where to start. This is a question that I've received from some viewers on Twitter before, and so I wanted to tackle it today to give you an idea of how you can get started with getting really great audio for your YouTube videos. My first tip is very simple, and you can do it without any external gear, and that is just to make sure that the room you are in is as quiet as possible. Some things that you might not think of that can give off some white noise in the background that can be very distracting include a fan running, windows being open, even your laptop, if it's working hard to do something, say exporting a video, whatever it might be, the fan on that can become very loud and create a background buzz in your videos. So I would recommend making sure that you close all of your windows, turn off your fans, even put your laptop in another room if you have to, to try and reduce the amount of white noise in the room where you're filming. My second tip is of course to get an external microphone. Now I'm gonna give you my exact setup and my exact how to in a fairly affordable and not complex way. So the mic that I use is the Zoom H1 Handy Mic. It is great and very versatile, but I'll tell you the way that I use it most is mounted on top of my camera, plugged straight into the mic jack so that the audio and video are automatically merged before I ever get into editing. This microphone does have the capability to record onto its own SD card and then that allows you to sync up the audio in post, but if you're filming videos like this, there isn't a huge necessity for that and it can kind of just make things take longer. So aside from the external microphone, the other gear that you will need to be able to record audio and video straight together on your camera is a hot shoe adapter and an aux cord. These are very easy and cheap to acquire on Amazon and so is the mic. So what you're gonna do is attach the hot shoe adapter to your microphone. So this is basically just like a screw that has a little plate on the bottom so that you can slide it onto your camera. Once you've got it attached, you can slide it on top of your camera, screw it in, and then attach the aux cord from your microphone into your camera. Now here's where it gets just a tad complicated, but don't worry about it, you can do it. You're gonna have to go into your camera's audio settings and change the audio recording to manual and turn down every single setting to almost zero except for gain, which will be one tick above zero. The reason why we have to do this is because you don't want your camera's internal microphone overriding the external microphone, which is much nicer sound quality. Once you've got that all set up, those settings will stay in your camera like that, even when you turn it off and on, which makes it nice and simple for recording videos in the future. But be aware, if you ever do record without the mic attached, there's gonna be no audio. It'll be so quiet that you can't hear it. So that's something to remember. So the one thing to remember about this mic and other mics like it is that it sometimes records onto just one audio stream, meaning that when you import it into Premiere, you're only gonna be hearing it out of one ear. Sometimes you won't notice this right away. It might just seem like it's quieter. So a really important thing to do when you're editing is to try listening to your video with just one earbud and one ear and switch. And if you notice that you can't hear it out of the one ear, then that means that you need to adjust your audio channels to make sure that they are both the same. So because this microphone is just recording onto the right side, I'm gonna go in and change it so that the input for both the left and right side is the right side. Another way you can adjust your audio in Premiere is by using audio gain. I use this most of the time to turn things down because if you turn the volume up on things, it'll start to get crackly and lower quality and really peaky and you don't really want that. But if what you've recorded is really loud or if you import um, another audio file like music that is really loud, you can just easily go into audio gain and put the gain to like minus 10 or minus 20 and that will effectively reduce the volume quite a bit. And that is pretty much the beginner's guide to HQ audio. You just need to remember to be aware of your surroundings, use an external microphone if you have access to one, and then play around with your audio channels and audio gain in Premiere to make everything perfect. I hope this video was useful to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about recording audio for YouTube videos. I would love to help you out in any way I can. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode of Creator Club. Thanks for watching and happy creating.